The skull is a common motif throughout art history, as comfortable in a Caravaggio painting as it is on a hipster's arm. Here we bring you a simple graphic flaming skull design which you can use to incorporate into many different designs and illustrations. We start with the bulbous top of the skull, drawing a sphere which we will taper at the bottom. We start the jawline just a fraction of the way into the circle we have drawn, making a stark turn as the jaw goes down. At the point where the jaw starts, we can mark this area to move up to the eyes. The eyes are located here and, as you can see, they are not completely round. The nostrils are marked by these teardrop shapes. A straight line cuts off the top row of teeth. You can draw a few teeth in different places if you want a more beaten up skull, or draw them all in a row like this. Connect the bottom row of teeth. To give it a more realistic skull look, we connect the jawbone like this. Since we are drawing in pencil, we can redo details here and there. Now we start to shade in some of the darker areas. The nostrils and eyes are completely black to show the emptiness of the skull. We can also use the shading to change the shape of the eye sockets if we like. The skull has various lines to show both definition of the bone and the wear you might expect. Once we have the picture we want, we can draw in the final outline of the skull with shading and a little cross hatching. I am now going to draw the flames which you can see emanate from different parts of the skull. However, you can have the flames of fire come out from any part you like. You can see that to give the picture more depth, I am going to draw some flames behind the others. Once you are happy with the basic outline of your flames, you can go over them with your definite lines. To finish off our flaming skull picture, I'm going to go over important lines with this pen, also using it to give shading. And here is our final drawing. As you can see, we have not colored in the flames, but you can if you want to finish it off. We hope you enjoyed this skull illustration tutorial. If you found it helpful, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come. We'll see you next time.